Let's take a look at the impact of COVID-19 on the aviation industry is the National President, Air Transport Services, Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Elitrus Amadu. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. What has been the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the aviation industry in Nigeria? Um, thank you for having me on your program this morning. Um, the impact of COVID-19 is a total collapse of all aviation activities in the industry. Air, airline operations are grounded. Uh, handling companies' activities have been grounded. Aviation agencies that uh, render services who depend on the certain activities on the uh, in the industry have all been grounded. Uh, to say the least, uh, the impact is uh, it's 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 one that if uh, drastic measures are not taken in the area of reopening the industry in the shortest time possible, will be catastrophic. How is your association working to help mitigate the increasing number of job losses being recorded in the aviation sector? Well, um, for us, at the level of uh, the senior staff association, we have uh, been engaging the employers. We have been having discussions with them on uh, the way forward out of this uh, situation, fourth mature situation. Um, the certain decisions have been taken that uh, did not go down well with us, and we are in the process of discussing that with the employers. However, with regards to concrete action taken uh, to to navigate out of the current situation, we had uh, written to the federal government of Nigeria uh, asking for certain intervention for the industry, uh, particularly to enable a smooth uh, startup of operations when the industry opened up and to ensure that uh, we mitigate or uh, minimize incidences of job loss. We, we understand there are um, uh, salary slashes for May for workers uh, as high as 50%. Can you confirm this and what is the latest update? Well, um, contrary to uh, the information in the media that the federal government directed a slash of aviation worker salaries. Uh, it is not true. Uh, this is an isolated situation unique to the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. The management uh, through a memo communicated to staff uh, slashing salary by uh, some percentage. Um, this is for the unilateral decision, and uh, at the level of our union, we rejected the request. I can reliably inform you that yesterday we met uh, the meeting held in uh, compliance with the uh, COVID-19 protocol. Uh, uh, we met and discussed extensively. At the end of the day, we resolved the management request itself. Uh, essentially, farm workers would get full salaries in the month of May. Uh, however, going forward, we agreed to thereafter to discuss the way forward, depending on the revenue that is available. All right. Um, do you see any circumstances for um, a review of the current ban on flights. Do you see a possibility that um, resumption of flights will take place soon? If that is, what are some of the guidelines um, or infrastructure that you would expect to be in place uh, for that possibility? 
Yes, uh, we are positive that flight operations may resume soon, and it would be in the, in the uh, interest of the nation and the stock. Uh, with regards to sort of calls and uh, measures to be put in place, uh, I'm aware that the uh, regulatory authority is working with uh, the stakeholders, airline, airport authority, other allied service, uh, providers, providers on uh, certain uh, protocols that would enable flight resumption. Critically, you know, in an aircraft is on ground, its airworthiness uh, uh, status keeps running. So you expect some airplanes would have run out of PFA, that is a uh, certificate of airworthiness, and they need to undergo on, on maintenance before they resume flight. Airmen certificates would have run out equally, and uh, they would need to uh, be renewed before resumption of operations. So on the operational and regulatory side, uh, all those measures are being put in place to guide airlines to to on on the modalities they will have to follow procedures so they can resume flight operations. All right, on the, uh, I'm afraid. Airport, I'm on just, the airport and okay, just and wrap up quickly. Flight. Sorry. And, Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Just wrap up quickly. I was going to interject, but I think it's yes. uh, appropriate to but, let you wrap up. Like I said, on the airport side, there are certain health protocols, uh, boarding uh, uh, protocols for passengers, for disinfection of aircraft um, to be adhered with. And it, it most importantly, there yeah, would be new procedures where even before you get to the airport, your health status must be disclosed as the airline prior to arrival. Other safety measures like wearing of masks, uh, thermal uh, controls, and other things will be put in place. All right, thank you very much, um, Ilitrus, for joining us on the news. You're most welcome.